like mathematics? Does your child not understand simple mathematical concepts? Does your child especially hate trigonometry? Then the worrying parents, we have just the product for you. Presenting to you, Trigoman. He sings, he dances, he even acts and he even has a sister. Oh yeah. Here's a demo of our product. The great knowledge comes great responsibility of sharing it. You might be thinking that you are all ready to embrace failure in the coming exams. But do believe that the night is the darkest just before dawn. And I promise you that dawn is coming. So now, let's make your trigonometry concepts clear for life. You must be the square root of minus one because you can't be real. Be a rational boy. Don't be a pie. Of course I am real. Okay, if you're real, tell me how to solve this. If it's zero degrees today and it's supposed to be twice as cold tomorrow, how cold is it going to be? How do you expect me to solve this? I'm not Pythagoras or something. Ah, Pythagoras. That reminds me, do you know what a mathematician calls an uh, occupied restroom in an airplane? No. A hypotenuse. A hypotenuse. <laughs> hypotenuse? What's that? In a right triangle, there are three sides. We name any one angle, say this one, as theta. Now you may ask, why theta? Well, scientists and historians have almost given up on that question. So moving on, the angle which we consider as theta is the one we take all our ratios with. So the side adjacent to our angle, theta, is the adjacent. Then the side opposite to theta is our opposite. And of course, the longest side is the high pot in use. <laughs> oh, so now I get it. But Trigo man, I have a max test tomorrow. I'm really so nervous. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Take a seat, my boy. Do not worry. I will solve your problems. Let's start with the basics. Isn't Moose Like Jagger by Maroon 5 your favorite song? I made a Trigo version of that. And I think it will really help you. So now watch me and my sister, Trigger Girl. <laughs> I'm really sorry for the interference. And I hope you enjoy the video. If you see a right triangle with the known sides with the trigger method, we can find them with sine, cos, and tan. And say cot to sec, we make it perfect. If you want to know how, do we do it? There are few formulae. You can use them, we have at the stand. And the opposite, and the high two is fixed. And it goes like this. Sign is opposite by high four. Cos is at the same by high four. Uh... -huh.
think I should eat them. Ha ha, you're a funny boy. But tell me, what is your real problem? I mean, what do you find specifically difficult? The whole of math is a troublesome part. These calculations, they get on my nerves. I mean, how am I supposed to know sine 45 is equal to sine 90? Do they expect me to be a calculator? Just calm down. I know what your problem is. Your problem are tables. And I have got just the technique to solve that problem. Tables are so long. I don't expect there to be a trick to make me memorize tables. Don't crack jokes. It's a sin. I see what you did there. So, so tell me about your trick. Well, my trick will help you pick up the values very quick. And it won't really be a problem because you are a kid. I'm so not a kid. Okay, sorry, sorry. What I meant was you just have to learn 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degree, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's begin with sine and its angles. Firstly, you should remember root 0 upon root 4, root 1 upon root 4, root 2 upon root 4, root 3 upon root 4 and root 4 upon root 4. Obviously, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Simplify them. What do you get? Simplifying is never simple. I'll, I'll get a pen and a paper. Trust me, this is simple. All you have to do is... I got it, I got it. It's 0, 1 by 2, um, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. And these values are the same as... Sine! You are right. See? That's one column done. But there are five more to go. <laughs> that will be done in a jiffy. But did you see that cos had just the opposite values of sine? Wait. That's true. How could I be such a fool? Haha, <laughs> I told you it was easy. Now for tan. Tan is sine by cos and tan is sine by cos. So, so tan is 0, 1 by root 3, 1, root 3 and tan 90 is? Tan 90 is ND not defined. If you take any number upon zero, of course you will get nothing or not defined. And you can also call it that it has no dignity. But dignity as its value is, right? Trigo man, you forgot something. Cosec is the reciprocal of sine. And sec is the reciprocal of cos. And cot is the reciprocal of tan. If they are all reciprocals, then their values will also be reciprocated. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I had almost forgotten it. And you can draw the table the moment you get the paper. Oh, that escalated quickly. Don't you think I'm good at memorizing things? I mean, who can just memorize this and snap of a nap? So now, as you know all the values, let's move ahead. It's time for some magic. Ooh, magic. This curve is really getting on my nerves. Finally, I can stretch myself and come to the right angle. Oh, oh, look who's that? That's a cute angle. <laughs> well, thanks for the compliment. My pleasure. So, Trigoman told you anything? Yeah, this little boy here is having trouble with the complimentary angles. So, he wanted us to take care of it. I see. You know, my trigonometry teacher was sometimes acute and sometimes obtuse, but always he was right. <laughs> Enough of jokes. We will get caught. Big Brother would surely scold us if we don't help this boy. Okay, so let us help him understand this by first understanding ourselves. If I ask you what a sinus means, you would say BC by AB, right? Correct, and that is equal to cos of me. Absolutely. So, to sum it up, if I am A and you are B, then sin A is equal to cos B. But instead, I have a pet name for you, Angle B, and that would establish a relation between me and you. Really? And what?
what is that? Will it supplement our complementary relationship? Well, 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 it surely will. After all, we know that you and I have to be equal to 90. So 90 minus me is equal to you. Or 90 minus you is equal to me. Therefore, 90 minus A is equal to B. And 90 minus B is equal to A. And so I hereby give you the name 90 minus A. I see what you did there. In the name of complementary angles property, I hereby accept this proposal. So, we have a very first complementary angle ratio, being cos 90 minus A is equal to sin A. Hey, then similarly, sin 90 minus A equal to cos A. Yeah, now you're talking. See, wasn't that simple? Totally, but I have a question. Does this mean that there is a similar relation between other trigonometric ratios? Don't worry, I heard your conversation and now I'm completely clear about the complementary angles. So now, minus a is sin a, uh, sin 90 minus a is cos a, sec 90 minus a is cosec a, cosec 90 minus a is sec a and cot 90 minus a is tan a and tan 90 minus a is cot a. Oh, this calm down my boy will calm down. Oh yeah, okay. But tell me, how was your experience of learning the trigonometric concepts from my dear friends over here? Let's just say that before every maths exam, I prayed to God looking for a sign from above, but now I don't have to worry about getting caught in my exam. You're a clever boy. Now, I can say, the boy who was unknown to Trigo and its concepts has now known all its basics. Now, the identities will be. Uh, yeah, I have a video for you. This is the story of a friend's triangle. A, B, B, C and A, C. All three of them were so close that they always made the right choices. But one day came a man called Pythagoras. So intelligent was he that he gave them the power to square out themselves. Yet he put a condition. With great power comes great responsibility. He said AB square plus BC square must be equal to AC square. Then one fine day, AC square went away. You see, powerful people are like magnets for ironic situations. Hence comes a clone of AC square and befriends the two lovelorn buddies. Happy to have AC square back, they again find their relation working. But who would have known that the clone wanted to divide them? Now, a friend in need is a friend indeed. How could the real AC square leave his divided friends in the lurch? With a rather grand entry, he retakes his original space. Uh-huh, too late. He had to fight his way out with his clone, being equally powerful both the AC squares kill each other. Okay, so, after all that you learned in trigonometry now, can you correlate the relations of these friends? Yeah, I can. I got it. Ah, there you are, my boy. As you've seen, this is what happens when a friend leaves you. What would have happened if not AC square, but BC square or say AB square would have left the relation?
nightmare. I can't believe I ace through the identities. But but how do I solve these songs? All you need is some practice. And remember three things before solving these songs. One, keep calm. Two, remember our songs. And three, and most importantly, remember the Trigo Man. Thank you for those invaluable tips, Trigo Man. So, goodbye, son. If you want to order this product, call our toll free lines 1800 Trigo or our call center number 0222645136. The price of this product, exclusive for our viewers, 500 million Zimbabwean dollars only. Shipping charge is not included. So, if you want your child to live the great Indian dream of the IITs, then for you, Trigo Man, it is.